Hi, my name is Paul Temple. I farm in the north of England in the UK. Uh, I'm involved in a family farm that's tenanted. Uh, we farm suckler cows and beef animals that we produce, that we batten and sell as stores. And then we have a series of arable crops, wheat that we grow for seed, barley, oilseed rape, vining peas and beans. We've just added grass lays into our arable rotation as we've moved the farm from conventional tillage through to conservation agriculture. So we're now in the steep learning process of practicing no-till in the UK. Uh, in addition, the farm's in a higher level environmental scheme and you can see behind me one of the margins that we've put there. Uh, it's a flowering margin and it will carry seeds into the winter period that we are now and behind that are the hedgerows that we also have to manage uh, in, a, in a scheme that we're involved with that will be an increasingly important part of our farming as the UK government switches its support away from farming into environmental measures. It's quite an exciting area because we realise that we can actually provide beneficial habitat that will help us manage the inside of the field. As I mentioned, the UK has just gone through the process of Brexit. Uh, we now have a, a different relationship with the European Union and hopefully this will allow us an opportunity to use technology on the farm that we haven't been able to do in the past. And uh, we will now enter into a very different trading arrangement. And again, this will be a bit of a steep learning curve, but it's important we look forward and outward to the rest of the world. And that's why I find the Global Farming Network a, a really useful benefit to me because it brings practical experience of farming from across the world right in front of me.